All right, once again, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, and all glory be unto Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Makakwadash, double honors be unto the apostles and ears of great millstone, to all the Akims worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from HMSG.com, just be unto quick identification, true spirit and the power of the Mosai, Basham Yahushai. And my edification today is entitled Laying Your Burdens on the Lord, Yahab Hashem Yeshai. And you know, um, it's a mindset I was on how we go through trials within our flesh, we go through trials within our daily lives, you know, whether it be family life, whether it be work, whether it be whatever, we, we go through our daily burdens. And we go through our daily problems, whether it be in, you know, infirmities of the flesh. And at times we try to stand the foundation on our own. You know, we try to hold up the weight on our own. And it's always good to remember that it's okay to push the weight off of you and lay it onto the Lord of Hashem Shai and let Him take control of it you know because that's one of the the um the grace that we have in being the people of the lord of Hashem Yishai, you know so i'm starting with matthew chapter 6 and verse 34 actually i started verse 33 it says but seek ye first the kingdom of power and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Now we know seeking the Lord don't mean going into these churches on a Sunday and giving tithes and offering and singing and burning incense, which doesn't really do nothing for you in terms of righteousness. But seeking the Lord in righteousness means doing his will, you know. Even though the Lord's has and commandments are well, the Lord's are not going to save you but grace. And the grace comes about in going on the highways and the byways, doing the works of the Lord and calling on the name of the Lord, not the names that are out there. Because I know very well in 2024, you people have enough knowledge to know that Jesus Christ is not the name of the Son of God. I know you know the I know you know the right, I know you know the wrong. We don't even have to go through the arguments anymore. But calling on the name of the Lord Abashim Shai and doing his will, you know. Prophesying about the downfall of this wicked kingdom that being run by the Edomites. Who is this so called white man? Yeah, we could go ahead and say uh, all white people is not the same. You are right, all white people is not the same because we may have Israelites looking like a so-called white person, but they are not, they are Israelite. So it comes back to the seed. But that seed of Edom is a wicked seed. That seed of Edom is the devil. And they are going to be destroyed as the Lord of Hashem Shai. But nevertheless, we are ever more being burdened in this kingdom by the Edomites because they are constantly deriving new laws, deriving new plans to always keep us down as a people. When I say as a people, I mean the Negroes, Latinos, the Native, who mainly make up the house of Israel. But nevertheless, through grace and through doing the will of the Lord of Hashem and Shai, we are able to obtain mercy as a people. No? So continuing to verse 34, take therefore no thought of the morrow, which is tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Yeah, so we have so much evil that we have to go through each day, so much burdens we have to go through. 
why study about tomorrow? I mean, it don't mean that you're just going to live today, today, and whatever tomorrow you live like a bomb and you, you just live your life. Um, no, that's not how it works. At least you have to use wisdom. But as each day transgress, as each day progresses, as we go along each day, always remember that the burdens of yesterday lead a bit into yesterday. And let's look forward to the burdens of today. Because the burdens of today now, we can lay it again in the feet of the Lord, Yahabashimishai. We can ask for forgiveness. We can ask for mercies. And we can move forward. You know? So Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28. It says, Come unto me, all ye that are labor, and a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So, notwithstanding, not because they come into this truth, it means that they're going to get it easy and they're going to get rest. But that rest is going to come about at the end of this kingdom. That rest is going to come about at the end of your work. But even though you're heavily laden, we still have our Lord, our Vashem Shai, to lay some of that burden on so we can move forward in our work and in our labor. We ain't gonna be no sluggard, we ain't gonna be no weak soldier, but we're gonna stand and fight. It gets too heavy, we lay it onto the Lord and we move forward some more. And we keep building that way. With 29, take, ye, take my yoke upon you and lay it off me. For I am meek and lonely in heart, lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So when we lay that burden unto the Lord our Bashim and Shai, we put all our cares on him, Yahabashim and Shai. It becomes easier. We ever so more go into the scriptures, it helps our mind and everyone have their demons to fight. So what better place and what better fighting ground to fight than with the Lord of Hashem and Shai in the street? You know? Psalm chapter 55 and verse 22 It says, Cast he burdens upon the Lord, Yahweh Shemeshai, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved, but thou, power, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. <clears throat> Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half of their days, but I trust in thee. And that wicked seed, those Edomites, are going to have their day one way or the other. But until then, the Lord of Hashemishai have us. The Lord of Hashemishai is our foundation, our rock, our staff, everything. So lay the burdens on him. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. It says, Be careful of nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto power. And that's why praying and fasting is important. More or less praying daily. Because the more we pray, is the more that we get these demons and these spirits off of us. And the more that our mind will be clear in doing the will of the Lord of Hashem Shai. But when you pray, pray earnestly. When you pray, pray with diligence, earnestly. Pray that it already happened already as well, because faith is a good thing. With seven, and the peace of power which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds true. Mashiach, Yahawashai. You know? So lay your burdens on the Lord, Abba Shemeshai. Lay all your cares there. 
I start walking around daily with a heavy load. <clears throat> but trust in the Lord I have Hashem Shai that He will deliver you out of all your situations. Nothing is too hard for the Lord of Hashem Shai. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. <clears throat> be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a royal lion, walk it about, seeking whom he may devour. Whom is the sister fast in the feet, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world? By the power of all grace, who had called us unto his eternal glory of Mashiach Yahushai, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. And with that, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory be unto the Mosai Haba Shemeshai, Masha Makakwadash. No double answer be unto your pastors and as a witness to to all the Akims will I say shall one be unto you. This is the word from the GMS camp. Akim stay strong. Shall one.